um, what I didn't mention when I talked about um, my, my professional or university career was that when I decided to study at a private business university, it was one obviously that had to be paid and I had the opportunity um, to be supported by a full scholarship. And that was by Vodafone. So they just started, when I started my university career back in 2006, a scholarship program just for students with migration background to offer them the opportunity, even though they might not have the financial possibilities to start uh, studying at business schools. And at that time, in this scholarship program, I met a number of, let's say, very talented people with migration background and some of them are now in the investment scene. I can just give you some examples. Navid, for example, he's principal at Horsebrink Ventures. Suhail, he's now in the leadership team of GFC. And um, one of the well-known founders, I think in Germany and Europe, for example, Roman Kirsch, who was also part of this program. So beyond the support that I had during my university studies in terms of financials, it was also a great opportunity to, to meet like-minded people like the ones that I just mentioned. Yeah. I think that two things that many, for, for example, well, especially first-time founders need are capital and network. And I think both of these things might be areas where founders or aspiring first-time founders with migration background might have disadvantages. That's why I would also always recommend everyone who plans to found whenever they want to do that to pretty early on work on your network. That might be capital network, so try to find mentors or high net worth individuals that are believing in your ideas that you are possible that exchanges are possible with and at the same time obviously also content wise find people that are very progressed in their thoughts and ideas in different fields of expertise so to say so that's the first thing and i think the second thing is capital especially for first-time founders who don't have a network yet in the seed or pre-seed phase it might be hard as a founder with migration background if your parents of friends and family don't have the means capital wise to support you so again here if you can build your network and find those believing in your ideas ideally with capital i think that's also a good prerequisite to be successful in founding especially for those with migration background yeah actually when i think of founders with migration background particularly that really made waves in the industry i really have to think of the us so if you look at the most successful companies in the world they all are being founded by those with migration background i mean take elon musk coming from south africa or the founders of google that are also with a migrant background and i think here we can learn a lot from the us so i think if the founders there make it Despite their migration background, it could, it could or should be possible as well in um, Germany or Europe. And one of obviously the most known uh, founders with a Turkish background is potentially Hakan Koç of uh, Auto One. So he's a good example, I would say. Mm -hmm.